So here's a really basic, um, we're going to set up a little scenario here where you've got Super Battle Droid against Clone Trooper. Now they're very, very evenly matched. Um, they're going to have a dice each. So um, this is not how you would normally set up in terms of space apart, but this is just purely for an example. So how do you start a game? Well, both player has a d20 and you both roll and whoever gets highest will choose who goes first. So for this case, blue will be for the clone and the black dice will be for our super battle droid. And as you can see there, the clone lost. The player that controls the super battle droid will decide who goes first. So in some cases it will be brilliant for you to go first, take advantage and do what you need to do. And other times, you know, it might be alright to actually go second and see what the opponent is doing. Now if you look on the stat card of the Super Battle Droid, it actually says the Super Battle Droid can move up to 12 squares and still fire. But in a normal case, with a clone trooper, he can only move 6 squares, up to 6 squares, and then shoot. Or he can move up to 12 squares and, you know, doesn't have to shoot. In this scenario, I'm just going to move the Super Battle Droid a few squares towards him. Now, how do I attack? On the card, it says that the Super Battle Droid's attack is plus 2. So what you do is take that 2 away from the defense of the clone trooper which is 13 um, which means that on your dice you will need an 11 to do 20 damage we rolled a 20 we rolled a 20 which actually means it does critical it's a critical hit 